Today we have something with a little bit of power. First things first, I love this case. It's a pretty hard plastic, but you don't care about the case. What you care about is what's inside. And that, okay, first off, these compared to those. What are these? All right, so these are gloves. And considering this is a chainsaw, I'm going to guess those are meant for a little bit of protection. Now, looks like I need to chain the blade myself. Not a problem. Here is the bar and the equipment to do that. I'm going to guess this is my chain. And I have... Is this a battery? So I've got two batteries. That's impressive. Normally these things come with like one. And we have a wall charger. Got a second chain. So two chains, two batteries, and a bottle, I'm going to guess for oil to help maintain the chainsaw. And that's what that's for. So let me get the instructions open, see what kind of oil they recommend, and uh, if, see if these are as cool as I think they might be. All right, and yes, these are what I as cool as I think they are. They're supposed to, they are cut level five protection. I don't know how well that holds up to a chainsaw. And it's one of the things I'd rather not test, but better to have and not need than need not have. Anyway, let's take a look at the actual chainsaw itself. Now it does come partially disassembled. And to fix that, we just back out this nut and pop off this cover plate. Set that aside. We grab the business end of said chainsaw and it slots into here with a little bit of sliding now the reason why there's a bit of slide is that way you can take your chain being careful of the cut orientation place over the bar into those little guide grooves. I can feel a little bit of oil on this. Okay. And then around here. And this is where there's a little bit of finesse involved because you need to pull on the bar to get the chain tight. Put the plate on. There you go. Almost need a third hand to do this. And then you put that wing back nut back on to tighten it. Now the instructions do say that the chain will settle and stretch a little bit when you first start using it. So you should always double check this chain before your first couple of cuts of the day. Alright. Let's go ahead and slap the battery in here. Now see how that got a little bit real loose? So I'm going to back that nut out a little bit. Pull that tight again. And then go find something to cut. All right, and I forgot to mention this. Should put a little bit of oil in here to help lubricate all these moving bits and bobs. And there is a bit of a safety feature here. You can't press the trigger unless you press this button down first. All right, I think I found my first uh, target for putting this to the test. All right, this here has grown way too much and way too close to my house. It has to go. Now, before using any kind of power tool, please make sure you wear protective equipment. In my case, I have the included gloves. 
and a pair of safety glasses that I have laying around the ground around the garage. Now, let me see if I can't get in here and uh, get a couple of cuts in this thing. That might have been a bit thick. So let's go find some uh, easier prey. Okay, I found the problem. It wasn't the uh, size of the tree. It was the direction of the blade. Remember I told you to make sure you had the right orientation? I didn't. So now that I have the right orientation, let's get this going. Okay, now that I got the chain mounted in the right direction, I'm going to go ahead and get my gloves back on. Get my glasses back on and get this uh, small intruder out of my way, huh? That yeah, went through pretty easily. Try going through the next chunk. All right, that's not too hard. So it does have limits, looks to be about two inches before it starts uh, getting choked up a bit. But anything smaller, as you can see, no problem at all. Okay, so a couple quick notes to be uh, cautious of. Now, this chainsaw has got quite a bit of bite, but doesn't have a lot of power. So you want to cut slowly and uh, make sure that you, it doesn't pinch the blade because it will stop. On that same, speaking of the blade, you notice I've got it back in the box. You notice how the bar is not installed. The case is just a hair too short to actually allow it to be stored with the bar installed. So it does require you to take the chain off every time. One additional thing that I noticed, um, not a lot of chainsaws I've, I've noticed have this, but on the carrier, the cover plate here, there is a small screw that's not mentioned in the instructions. What this screw does is helps you provide tension on the bar. So let me show you what that means. So when installing this bar, you'll see these two small little holes here. This pin will go into one of those holes and Once you have this bracket on, you can use this screw to bite on this and pull it a little bit tighter. So it makes it a little bit safer and a little bit snugger. And a couple little points that I thought you guys should know.